What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you our very first war, our debut war in CWL Invite, as you see it right there on your screen, taking the victory over North Remembers, a final of 109 to 106, and also winning by almost 2% in total destruction, and what an incredible war it was, and I'm so proud of everybody in FFS for getting the victory, starting off the season in Invite at 1-0, and we have, I have some amazing attacks to show you guys. And as you guys see it on our maps here, where both clans really struggled, FFS and NR, was the 10v11 department. And it seems to be that this kind of going league wide as you know, the vast majority really struggling 10v11, uh, at least, you know, especially both of our clans. We only cleared, uh, or they only cleared two of our 11s um, with uh, Town Hall 10s. And same thing over here, we let three up. Uh, we did have uh, NECA get that double on that 11 and we had PSC taking out their number one at 53% and 55% so semi decent percentage no nothing insane though but where we really really stood out was our 10v10s we had five 10v10 triples this war guys I believe NR had one if I'm not mistaken but we put up five and not only that Four, we went four for four 10v10s. We had four scouts um, on Town Hall 10s and came up and cleaned them with a Town Hall 10. The very, very next hit. So proud of our uh, 10v10 triples this war, picking up five. That's absolutely insane. And also, huge, huge, huge shout out to our Town Hall 9s hitting at 73%. We had, I mean, we had, we, we came to a point where we had 14 attacks uh, with only one Town Hall 9 to clear. So really, really a big shout out to you guys, uh, our Town Hall 9s. The breakdown was five, was it 516 was the breakdown. Yes, 516 was the breakdown and the rest filled up with Town Hall 9s. I do want to jump into this and the theme of this war, as you guys are going to see, is dragons. Uh, I do want to show our Town Hall 9 some love. I've been neglecting some of the uh, Town Hall 9 action on the channel. So I just want to get this really, really nice attack from Trey, aka 312, coming in with this dragon attack, uh, this drag Lalo. Uh, really, really, really well executed, and this was a fresh hit as well. Uh, so we'll just let that play. I'll talk a little bit more about the war, but uh, definitely struggled with 10 v 11s without a doubt. And like I said, you know, just going around the league over in Premier, we saw a lot of the same struggles we saw it here in NR, uh, and just kind of throughout the league. So it'll be really, really interesting to see how the how 10 v 11s are going to be playing out, and how, if the meta is going to change as far as. Who's going to be hitting the 11s? You know, are we going to send some 11s at it? Still send the 10s? Did NR just have really, really good bases? Did we just not execute? A lot of questions came into play. Um, and we did go, we did have one dip fail. And we did have a 11 v 11 attempt. But we were, we were not able to even get the two star. It was 11 v 11 attempt with just a, we picked up one star, uh, netted one star off that attack. Uh, but other than that, we did go, so we went eight for nine uh, on our dips. So, you know, really, really good job to the majority of the Town Hall 11s. You guys really, really brought it. And the, core, the score, just with doubling the 11s, I think we would have been at, we left three up. So the score, we could have put up 112 stars on the board, uh, which would have won quite a few of the wars in invite, uh, at least in week one. So could not be any more proud of the guys over in Forge from Steel. Uh, again, winning our very first war, 1-0. Uh, an amazing attack by Trey on that drag, Lalo. Very, very well executed. Uh, not an attack that we see every day. I do want to get up here. I do want to show you guys. I cannot believe this. I actually 10v10 six-pack uh, this war. It just sounds crazy even saying it, but... Um, I got 10v10 six pack doing it with this attack guys uh, for those of you that have blown off this attack maybe you haven't even seen it before calling it the clone bone this is me hitting uh, no, their number 21 so this is the lowest town hall 10 on the map 
and what an amazing attack strategy this is on the right base layouts and four four out of our five 10 v 10 guys were with dragons could not believe it so basically just did a kiwi walk down there at six o'clock to pick up that air defense that was right here and su uh, gonna sui the aq over at three o'clock and once we see the funnel set, air defenses are down, dragons are going to be coming in. Uh, bring a total of eight on this attack right here. And dropping a couple loons on our scout, we did do a, a, a drag loon for the scout. So we did see where a few of the seeking air mines were. And you see that those uh, balloons are absorbing those seeking air mines as opposed to the dragons. Keeping everything alive using two rage on the dragons in the core. As they're just making their way through, uh, once they get a little bit closer, there goes the clone spell, guys. Right there, it is a level one clone spell. That's why it didn't clone the hound, it cloned the loons. Uh, followed up by a nice haste. Um, and that's going to be followed up by a nice rage going to get really really good value from all those loons Hound is lasting all the way to the air defense up at 12 o'clock followed up by another four loons and uh, uh, The last haste spell that's the max one right there going down and Still have four dragons up still have a, f a few loons up as well so got decent value from them. They're gonna go ahead and collapse on that archer tower. We'll go ahead, we'll just go ahead and times four. Don't want this video to get too long. Uh, but ended with three dragons and did have some nice archers. Got good values uh, from those archers, not only cleaning up, but funneling to keep the dragons inside of the base. And that's me wrapping it up with, uh, that was actually the first Town Hall 10 triple of the war, starting off one and one. Uh, for our Town Hall 10 attempts. And this one right here, no, that one was a dip. It was this one right here. We got Fobby, uh, Fobby coming in and doing it with bitch, but a very, very well executed bitch. He's got some barbs, he's got some archers, he's got seven goblins that he's bringing along to this attack. And playing this one out on voice, it's, again, it, the attack isn't as spammy as one would think as far as or it can be spammy. The way Fabi executes this attack is everything was for a reason, as you guys are going to see. So dropping down the goblins, uh, just getting rid of the, the DE drill and the elixir pumps. And now you'll be able to see he's going to drop down a few bowlers, guys. Uh, barb on the mortar over there at three. Very, very good value from one barbarian. And dropping down two bowlers right there. The rock skip is actually going to take out that uh, wizard tower that's sharing that compartment with the inferno tower uh, right there at nine. He's got three witches and four bowlers on each flank at 12 or up at 12 and over at nine as well. They're coming in, gonna get good value from those flanks. Has a jump leading everything in, uh, sending about 10 bowlers plus the CC bowlers, heroes, two golems, has a nice heal right inside the core. Another jump to lead everything to the other end of this base followed up by a very very nice rage and the cc as we're not seeing hound ccs as much anymore uh this cc the enemy cc had a loon and a golem come out of it so he was able to send his queen right with uh the the kill squad the main push right through the core so just gonna get incredible value from her still has the ability up and you can see there's only a uh, two teslas and a cannon left that can really do any damage both of his golems haven't even popped yet guys and we yeah the way we scouted this one was with hogs we were able to find out where the teslas were where the bombs were and again big shout out to the nines cannot thank you guys enough uh laying down the law 9v9 and getting getting those scouts in uh, following the scout plans so really very, as you guys see it right there a very very well executed bitch and a uh, big shout out to fabi that was our second 10v10 of the war and we'll move on up here. Here comes Rahat, same thing. Uh, similar base layout, uh, but different in its own right. Also doing it with Clone Bone, guys. Uh, doing it with Dragons, has the clone spell. His is also level one, where you can clone tw uh, 25 troop space, so that's five loons that you can get out of that. And same thing, gonna be Sui, uh, gonna Sui his queen down at six and gonna do a Kiwi walk over at three o'clock to pick up that air defense and anything else that they can pick up. And th this attack strategy, I'm telling you guys, on the right base layouts, uh, just completely wrecks as you guys are about to see. Same spell comp, he has three rage, the clone spell, and he has two haste. And we don't even, yeah, no, the CC, was either a hound or a golem and a loon. No, nothing comes out though. 
because, well, it's an air attack. So here comes the dragons, uh, pretty much entering at the exact same spot that I did on number 21. Um, so he's going to have two rage that he's going to be using for the dragons as they make their way in. Uh, did drop a loon to absorb one of the seeking air mines. So uh, uh, that sacrificial loon to keep the dragons alive. Uh, he has a few of the dragons up under rage. Looked like he missed it just a little bit, but he is going to get good value from that second one. As a few of those dragons are aggroing onto the enemy queen, she's going to go down in one puff. And here comes the Lalo portion up at 12. Um, the clone loons kind of split to the right, but notice what happened. Very quickly adjusted and sent in a couple of his camp loons up at 12 o'clock to pick up that air defense. And those same loons also take out the Inferno Tower as well. Balloon Crash takes out the air defense over at 9 o'clock. And as you can see, guys, just an expo and one archer tower is left up as far as defenses. The rest of it is trash. And and even quite a few of his pups survived as well. So very, very nice attack. I'm telling you guys, doing it with the clone bone. I mean, we had uh, three clone bone attacks, uh, 10v10. Okay, and this is the one where Scarface didn't do it with clone bone, but he did do it... Um, it was a dragon attack, not using clone bone. As you see, he does have four rage and one heal and two haste that he's bringing in the spell comp. Gonna do a little kiwi walk up here at 12 o'clock and he's gonna be funneling, or gonna be suiciding his AQ over at nine. Uh, drags will be coming in between 10 and 11 as where the dragons will be entering on this base. So he does have a couple more wizards to drop. Had to wait for that cannon to start, uh, or that king to start tanking that cannon up there. So here comes the wizard. He's gonna get that AD, no problem. Nice patience there. And he's gonna be dropping down his queen over here at nine to go ahead and take out uh, that air defense. And not only are you just trying to get the air defenses, but you're also funneling the trash to keep the dragons inside of the base where all the defenses are. So she's just gonna go ahead and pound that AD. It goes down, uh, gonna be getting good value from that queen uh, once he pops her ability. Here comes all the drags. Again, just a beautiful funnel. And on this attack, as you guys see right there, didn't go with a hound, uh, went with CC Loon. So it has those level seven balloons coming out of the clan castle, followed by a few of his camp loons. Uh, dropped a rage coming in a beautiful rage and a heal in the core and those loons are just wrecking house right now gutting out the core of this base uh, drop down a hay spell with just a few loons uh, to take out that air defense and gonna go ahead and do the same thing over at three o'clock and this base is just evaporating uh, balloon crash takes out that air defense and does have quite a few drags up, still has a rage spell, guys, being nice and patient. And as you see, uh, that dragon is gonna take out that wizard tower and ends up swagging a rage on the clan castle. Ended up wrecking this base, guys. I'm telling you, dragons, if you're not using them, you should definitely start. Uh, they're wrecking all different types of bases. And I mean, that's that's the theme of this war, guys. Dragons from Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, even on our dips uh, using Clone Bone 11v10 as well. Uh, I won't show it. We already showed one of my uh, Town Hall 10 triples, but as you guys see it right there, I also took out their number 15 uh, using the Clone Bone strategy. And those were, yeah, that was all of the 10v10s. All right, guys, well, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to give a huge shout out to everybody in the Ford by the Bay Alliance, everybody who helped out with this war, the voice planning, the sketches, all the war rooms, shout out to all the war generals for everybody that made this victory happen. Again, taking the victory from North Remembers, the final 109 to 106, and I want to wish nothing but the best of luck to everybody in North Remembers and the North family going forward. And I hope you guys enjoyed the footage and the attacks uh, that got recorded for this war. Next uh, week, or this coming weekend, we have Marshall's Nation in week two. So we're definitely gonna be looking forward to that war. And that will pretty much do it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.